Previously on Last Stop. You've just had your second exam. How'd it go? My daughter isn't a blackmailer. Let me just have a chat with her. Stay away from my daughter. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's like you don't care. Wanker! What the hell is wrong with you? How's it going? You up to much? <sighs> Prick. How come you're taking me to school today? And not Dad? Your Dad's busy this morning, so that's why I'm taking you. That's okay, isn't it? Yeah. Dad's okay, though. Yeah, Dad's fine. Why all the concern? Oh, I don't know. You're right, though. You seem a bit quiet. Yeah. You sure? I don't know. Okay, let's have it. What's on your mind? Are you leaving Dad? What? Where did that come from? No, I'm not leaving Dad. I heard you both arguing last night and throwing things at each other. Is that why you're taking me to school today and not Dad? Because you're making him leave? No, Dad's not going anywhere. Does that mean you're leaving instead? No! Look, I'm sorry that you heard that last night, but you don't need to worry. Everything's fine. All right. Listen, Dylan, I've got to run. I've got an appointment before work. You're not ill, are you? No, nothing like that. Just catching up with an old friend. You stalking me now? Obviously you're not keen on me. I can live with that. Dad told me what you accused me of. Pathetic. That doesn't surprise me. So, was it you? You're a mother. And you've got what, a little boy? Stay away from my dad. He doesn't need you. Okay, forget about that. That's done. Now, it's very important that I hear that you admit that you sent that note. I can't believe you. Leave me alone. I don't want things to get any more ugly than they already are now. Did you send the note? Are you threatening me? I didn't send the damn note. You need to get your act together. Sort your life out and leave us alone. Dad? Dad, are you all right? Huh? Oh, it's you. What the hell's happened here? The door. Happened last week. I'm away for one week and I come back to this? Why haven't you fixed the front door? Oh, no need to lock the doors in this neighborhood. Dad, I'm not even going to respond to that. What got stolen? Have you filed a police report? 
Just my medicine, and absolutely not. Don't want the fuzz sniffing around here. What medicine? My brain medicine. You know, the, the special pills from Spider. I thought I told you to throw them away. Ah! I'm going to help you clean this place up, and then you're going to get someone to fix that door. Nini, make sure you put those books on the shelf in the correct order. I've categorized them by subject. Bottom shelf is travel, middle shelf is politics and history, and the top shelf is arts and entertainment. Take care with them, will you? Some of those books are older than you, you know. <laughs> when I say books, I don't mean any of those pseudo-electric books that your generation read on the phone. These are proper paper and ink. Seriously, every time I go on the computer, the library I've been asked to download a book. I say to Margaret, the librarian, look! I'm in the bloody library. What's all this about downloading books? I'm telling you, Nini, you've all gone mad. And don't get me started on audiobooks. What am I, a child? I'll read my own damn books, thank you very much. <laughs> audiobooks. Ugh, oh, Dad, seriously. Oh, it's nothing to be embarrassed about, child. You know your mother and I... I don't want to know. Put that one on the top shelf, Nini. Left a bit. All right a bit. Left a bit. Right a bit. We've been at this for ten minutes. You sure this isn't straight? Perfect. Nothing's built to last anymore. People buy cheap, and when it's slightly damaged, they throw it away and buy a new one. Or even worse, they throw it away because they're bored of it. Can you believe it? How much wasted stuff there must be in London alone. You know, there used to be a phrase, I can't afford to buy cheap. Things were built to last, of course, back then. Don't get me started on the amount we waste on food in our supermarkets. The mountains of food that's thrown away every day. It's a disgrace. And all that pollution, just so you can have an avocado on toast. It's disgusting. People look back on what they're doing now and physically vomit. In my day, you had your strawberries in the summer and your Brussels sprouts in the winter. And they were all grown here. Oh. But people complain, don't they? I want my strawberries in December. Look at the packaging. Shipped from California. Most likely on a jumbo jet, I shouldn't wonder. All because you simply cannot do without strawberries in December. I don't even like strawberries. That's beside the point, Nini. How's the uh, super gluing coming along? Yeah, not too bad. Luckily, they're not smashed into tiny pieces. Ah, that's because they're good quality crockery. Had them for years. I know. That's why... What is it that they say? Tidy house, tidy mind? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my mind, Nini. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I better call Spider and get some more of those pills. What did I say the other week? Are you intentionally ignoring me? You're to stop with all of that, okay? Have you been speaking to Spider? Of course. He was around here the other week. Good boy, that Spider. Plays it tough, but he's, uh, he's fighting the good fight. I told him my daughter's a fascist, always meddling in my business. Spider's been here. Did you get in contact with him in the end? Uh, you would benefit from the extra perspective. Right. Listen, Dad, I've got to go. Make sure you sort that door out. Please, it's important. Yes, yes, child. Spider.
Oi, spider. You utter scum. I should put you in the ground for what you've put my dad through. Look who it is. Come to return my driving license? Or are you after my library card this time? Didn't I make myself clear last time? You really are a moron. A stupid little moron. Ooh, harsh words. Tell you what, give me back my license and we'll forget the whole thing. And that blackmail note was obviously you as well, wasn't it? Such an idiot. I probably wouldn't have made the connection if you hadn't sent that. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, what note? You know, I almost felt sorry for you last time. But you're a bad person. You're going to prison, Gavin. What did you mean about a note? I didn't write any note. We're going to the station. Are you going to go down with some dignity or kicking and screaming? This is a setup. You're trying to pin something on me. Okay, yeah. What's a gun? You best step off because I'm fully strapped. Are you sure you know what you're doing with that? I know I'm a screw up. I bust into your dad's place. Fair cop, you got me. But I'm not taking the fall for any made up notes or anything. Okay, Spider. Statistically, when a person with a nervous disposition is pointing a loaded gun, it tends to go off. So why don't you just lower it for a bit, and we'll continue talking. Just trying to make something of myself. I'm trying to get my fair share. But someone's always there to kick the legs out from under you. I'm just trying to do my best, you feel me? In fairness, you're not the one being threatened with a gun. You don't know nothing. I had it all laid out. I had a plan. Everyone's got a plan. You do whatever your superiors tell you to do, and things still go off the rails. You what? The amount I sacrificed for this. All that stupid shit other people care about. But it's still not enough to get what you want. And what do I see for my efforts? A blackmail note on my doorstep. If you're being blackmailed, I ain't the one doing the blackmailing. Someone out there has it in for me. I'm sorry I broke into your dad's place. That, that was low. Yeah, it was. But I forgive you. Let's just leave each other well alone. You can have your license back. I'm all for that. You're a crazy woman. Put the gun down, drop it now. Amy? What is this? You were playing me. Back away, Mina. I've got this. What the hell are you doing here, Amy? You were just keeping me talking until backup arrived. Drop the weapon immediately. I won't ask again. Do you two know each other? I'm not going to go to prison for something I didn't do. Please, both of you. We can figure this out without the firearms. Drop the gun this instant. Bitch, you drop the gun. I said drop it. You drop it. Drop the gun. Both of you, calm the hell down. Jesus, that's a lot of blood. Oh God, it's bad, isn't it? We'll get you fixed up. You'll be back on your feet in no time. <laughs> what about the other guy? Did I get him? Don't worry about that now. What are you even doing here, Amy? Oh, it hurts so bad. Okay, I'm gonna call for help. Wait a minute. Makes sense. I can't believe I missed this. You sent the note. I need to go to hospital. I guess you got me. Put a spin on this, take it to Hale, and the job's yours, right? What else did you find on me? I'm dying, Nina. Listen to me carefully. You're 
gonna give me everything you've got on me. Okay? Please. Give me the key to your flat. And I'll call an ambulance. Previously on Last Stop. I know about your predicament. Come see me, the Vape Lord. Frank has been searching everywhere for you. The guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago? He did this! I'm going to need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Jack's leaving us. Now that you're sorted with your job and everything, I figured this would be a good time for me to move on. Molly is going to end up in foster care if you go. <laughs> Dad! <gasps> Hello, you came in with Mr. Smith, is that right? Your family? Where's Jack? I want to see him. Yeah, we're family. Molly here is his daughter. Okay, I'm afraid the situation's quite serious. We've taken him into ICU. If you'd like to wait in the waiting room, we'll let you know if there are any updates. We want to see him. He's going to be okay though, right? If there are any other family members that you need to contact, now would be the time to inform them. But he's going to be okay. I'm afraid it's too early to tell. He may not make it through the night. No! Thank you. I'll, um, I'll let him know. Jack's going to die. We don't know that. It's not fair. He's only sick because he's in your body. I shouldn't have made you eat all those chicken dippers. You're right. It isn't fair. I don't want Jack to die. I like him. And if he does, they'll take me away, won't they? No one is taking you anywhere. I just need to pop downstairs for a minute. Can you look after my daughter while I'm gone, please? Sure. I'll keep an eye on her. Hey, it's Shaz. Leave a message. Shaz, it's Jack. Listen, John's in hospital. I need you to come over when you get this, please. The nurse will explain everything. Thanks, Shaz. You've been a good friend. You're cutting it fine. Thought you were a no-show. I haven't got much time. Are we going or what? Come on. This way. You know, there's a lot of history in this little vape shop. It's been in the family for years. Yeah, we've sold all sorts here. Before e-liquids took off, we were a laundrette. Cobble shoes. Sold dirty magazines, anything really. Technically, Frank owns the place, but he's never here. He said he was doing me a favour, you know, letting me run the place and all, but I think he just doesn't like the smell of the stuff. It's weird, that, isn't it? 
how some people don't like the smell of things. Me, I bloody love the stuff. Is this place? So I feel like I haven't properly explained this. Are you okay traveling to the other side of the galaxy? What the heck is this? It's the portal. You want to see Frank? This is the only way. Are you coming with me? There's only room for one. Look, we don't have time. It won't wait for you. I thought you were up for this. I guess I don't have a choice! That's the spirit! Now it's very important! Here are your travel tokens! One for getting in, one for getting out! Do not lose them, okay? You won't get back otherwise. Now when you arrive, you're going to want to try and find Frank's shop. He'll know who you are. Okay, thank you! By the way! What's your name? I already told you! It's Fake Lord! Get going! Come on, Amy. What have you got on me? How the hell did she get this? tapped my 
my phone. These go way back. Take a breather. Not until you explain what the hell you've been up to. Okay, you got me. Now settle down. Amy's dead. So is a kid. You're not here because you're upset about that, and we both know it. <laughs> upset? Are you kidding me? Was this all a big joke? Why have you been messing with me? Because you got sloppy. You let Amy get to you. Your house isn't in order and you failed your psych exam. You know how many advisors told me to cut you loose? She's a has-been, washed up. But they don't know what you're capable of, do they? Operation Bloodhound? You just need the right conditions. And so here we are. <laughs> Wouldn't it just have been easier to hire someone else? Perhaps. But I've always been a little sentimental. <laughs> Find someone else. Pete. The portal's open. What? It's true. It kicked into gear about 25 minutes ago. We're not sure how long it will be stable, but we're good to go. We just need a candidate. Come on, Hughes. This is it. The big one. Don't you want to know what's on the other side? I've been waiting up. Where the hell are you? I'm at the office. Listen, I don't have much time. I need to talk to you about something. What do you mean? Are you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But something's come up. I need to leave the country for a bit. What are you talking about? It's work. D just come home and we'll discuss it, okay? I wish I could. I wish I didn't have to tell you like this over the phone, but I have to go now. There's been no time to prepare. Are you serious? You're working in the field again, aren't you? Is that what you've been doing all these evenings? Getting prepared? Hiding it from me? I can't believe you. Yeah, that's basically it. How can you do this to us? How can you be so selfish? Selfish? I did everything you asked of me. I gave up everything. My life. My reputation. You think I like what I've become? I can't stand it anymore. Oh, so now it's my fault. But what about me? What about Dylan? Why does he come into this? That's not what I said. You've been great. Please, let's just talk about this when I get back. And when will that be? Right? You, you can't tell me, right? Could be any time. Could be never. I've had enough, Mina. I'm sick of it. I've bent over backwards trying to keep this family together with all your late nights and your weekends, but what can I do with this? I mean, do you think I'm a mug? Stop being so dramatic. I'm serious. Am I a mug? Maybe I am. If you go tonight, I don't want you coming back here. You don't mean that. Look, I have to go. They're relying on me. Well, I hope it's all worth it. Because you have destroyed this family!
How's your head, Peters? I need you on this. I read the brief. An extraction mission. How do you even know she's alive? It says in the brief she went missing 38 years ago. You would have been, what, 16? Was there a romantic link there? It's not important. I need to know where she's been for these years. I'll bring her back, sir. I'll get the job done. That's all I want to hear. And if I don't return? I'll honor my arrangements. Your family will be looked after. All right. Good. Don't forget, we're making history. Technology, culture, the extraction mission is just the first phase. This is the next frontier, right here. Now show them what you're made of. Monitors is set to record. Readings are nominal. Environment at the horizon reads steady. Gravitation, electromagnetics and radiation all within predicted norms. External readings at 64 degrees centigrade. I can feel an updraft from the anomaly. Cooling system operational. Stop. She's resting now, but she is still. I think I've made a terrible mistake. Jesus Christ! Donna, that's kidnapped! Stay here. I need to see what you've done. You made it all up. I think you actually saved me by not being here a moment ago. If you want my help, you only have to ask.
to me like that. What time is it? It's almost 3 a.m. What's going on? It's time for us to leave. At 3 a.m.? Get dressed. We're going home. Your house near that chip shop? I don't have time for your questions. Get up. We're going. Who are they? They seem to know me. Not like I 